Okay, good morning everyone. Let's make a start. Thanks for joining us. Um, my name is John Lever from TA6. I'm the Head of Marketing. Um, I'll be introducing, I'll let David and, and Woody introduce themselves in a minute. Um, this is a webinar on supporting operators bounce back, particularly the, the Shapemaster clients that uh, work with ourselves and uh, Shapemaster. So over to David, uh, just to give a brief introduction to today's talk. And good morning, everyone. Thanks very much, John. Uh, it's nice to, to have you, you with us today. Um, we, we wanted just to share with you some of the work that we were doing um, we, uh, with, with our partners TA6, Alliance TA6. We, we've been working in the background to create some uh, resources, uh, design templates um, and, and a campaign pack that will help you as you prepare your shape master suite uh, for the return to exercise phase um, whenever that might happen in uh, hopefully in in the, the coming weeks um, from from the outset we've we've worked with 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 the team at ta6 to to create uh, support for you um, so for example you'll have received access to the um, the, the checklist uh, right at the beginning and then each week um, I hope you've been receiving uh, the videos that we've sent so that you can keep your members engaged uh, these are home-based exercise videos that are available on our COVID support portal on our website which is shapemaster.co.uk um, so uh, you can you can use those share them with your members and, and make sure that they they are still part um, of of your leisure center even during lockdown but what we wanted to share with you today was the uh, the assets. So, for example, we, I mentioned, and Woody will, uh, Paul Woodford, Woody from TA6 will introduce those to you in, in a few minutes. Um, so, for example, marketing design templates so that you can uh, reassure your members to get them back to your centre as, as quickly as possible. I'll share with you in a minute um, uh, our thoughts on how you might uh, progress and design your policies for uh, reopening and your approach to, to reopening the site for, for good operational practice there. And, and then, uh, excitingly, uh, Woody will introduce um, the Your Health Matters campaign, uh, which has been developed uh, uh, in partnership with us at, 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 uh, by, by TA6. Uh, but I, first of all, I'll just show you the, um, the uh, guidelines uh, that, that we've created so we, we know that you've got a lot to think about you you've got to you've got to get all of you know all of your members that you had uh, who are now on frozen memberships be, before lockdown you need to get those back as quickly as possible so we wanted to help you um get the shape master members back as quickly as possible and, and to help you think about how to do that and that that's what this packs about um the the shape master suite if you've been operating the model in the way that we advise, which is the booked time slots, um, then much of it is already set up for you. If you continue to operate in that way, you, you're already set up uh, to to, to uh, operate in a way that will reassure your members that social distancing can still happen. So if we just move on, I'll just quickly um, uh, show you this uh, this document. You'll see here on, the, yeah, uh, the first part is about uh, Woody will introduce this to you in a, in a second about the three phases so return to exercise phases so we talk about uh, bringing back your current members engaging uh, uh, those who've lapsed over the last few months and then acquiring new members and you'll see at the bottom uh, that we've we thought about some of the operational uh, considerations that you might want to uh, build into your own policies as as you as you uh, make your approach to to, to uh, making your your suite uh, suitable post covid um we've talked yeah we've, we've thought about the waiting area um who should and who should not come back to uh, uh to your suite we thought about uh the the hygiene and cleaning of your suite and we've, we've gained advice you see in the box at the bottom from our upholstery manufacturer about how to clean the suite and also they've they've tested the upholstery um, based on a which is all they can do based on a previous strain of coronavirus and, and found that uh, uh, after I think it says within an hour that the virus naturally dies anyway but they've also provided some um, advice on cleaning materials there 
on the on the next page um you'll see at the top there this is probably the most crucial part the social distancing time slots so we've given you some thoughts about how you can book your time slots to maintain social distancing and how to handle people um, as they come back to the site um, how to make sure that even as they're waiting it can be done in a way that that um, observes your own policy and the government guidelines for um, social distancing we've made a special mention of the over 70s and vulnerable groups we we don't yet know the government hasn't yet advised um, what will happen with this particular group vulnerable groups in the over 70s uh, but we will wait like you we will wait and see what happens what what their advice will be um, for when as and when uh, particular groups uh, maybe vulnerable groups can come back but what we, what we have done is just like the very short videos that we've created over the last few weeks we, we have now created a, a full 40 minute um, home based shape master exercise experience so that even if they can't come back to the center at this particular time you can keep them engaged and you can keep supporting them in, in remaining active even during the time when they might not be able to come back so that when that time does come they'll still feel part of of your uh, center and then it will be it will be easy to get them back in uh, moving on uh, this is just this is a uh, this 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 document will be available to you in our in our resource portal we'll we'll gain your feedback from today um, and we'll we'll make it available from the um, from Monday but the, the previous um, page was just talking about the marketing resource and here is um, an, some copy content an example of a letter that you might you might want to take some of this content and and formulate a letter for example to write to your members to, to let them know what you're doing to make your suite um, prepared for covid um, so we're suggesting this might be a couple of weeks before you reopen um, and how you can adapt this text to, to reassure them to come back and how how they can come back uh, so that that will be available on our portal um, from monday we, we will gain your feedback and then um, we will adapt that um, so that uh, you you can use it um, but it, as I, I must stress that it's advice to help you formulate your own policies. Uh, we just wanted to think about how our suite could uh, help you uh, with that small part of your centre to, 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 to respond to um, uh, the post-COVID, the new normal. Um, I, I will introduce you to um, our friend and strategic partner, Paul Woodford or Woody from TA6. They, they've been invaluable to us. They, they've uh, brought in their um, sector ex expertise and experience to help us to support you throughout throughout the whole of this pandemic and and we'll, we'll do so beyond. Um, Woody's going to show you um, some of the design templates, the assets that we've created for you to use that will be available to you and uh, also the, the really uh, the, the great campaign that they've created called Your health matters and that that's a campaign that will be available to, to use but also um, if you need further support from TA6 after this um, they they will help you and bespoke that campaign to suit you if, if you need if you need more support um, so can I can I introduce you to, to Paul Woodford from uh, TA6 to to take us through that campaign thank you hi everybody uh, um... Can you hear me? Is that, uh, am I unmuted, David? Is that, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you could, Woody. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. And, uh, Woody, can I just jump in? Sorry, just to interrupt. Yeah, um, just to everyone who's got questions, um, if you want to ask questions throughout, there is the questions and answers box. Um, we'll be fielding questions at the end, so please feel free to ask questions throughout, and then I'll just feed them back into David and Woody um, at the end of the session. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> It is great. Um, I'm looking at the attendee list, which is always a bit discerning that you might see people disappear as you start speaking. So, David, you kept all 10 people, which was great. And John hasn't lost any yet. But I can see some some people that I know and some uh, some people that I've worked with before. So hello. Um, really excited to have the opportunity to talk to you today about the Your Health Matters campaign. Um, it's a campaign specifically for um, the older generation to bounce back after COVID. Um, and specifically for your shape master facilities. So yeah, please, if there are any questions um, far away and John will pick those up and we can pick some up at the end. Um, this is a session that I've been delivering 
for a lot of senior management teams across the UK in terms of managing their business and bouncing back on the other side after these unprecedented times. So there are some slides I'm going to show you which are very general um, and then I'll flow into um, the Your Health Matters campaign which we're excited about which is free for you to be able to use afterwards. So there's an asset pack that you can have that we'll be able to give you that you can use free as, as part of our relationship with Shake Master. But I was, David's heard me say this before, I was really, um, in the past, when I worked for a contractor um, for 10 years, I ripped Shake Master facilities or Tony facilities out of sites when we took them over. I didn't believe in them. Um, they were just empty. Um, uh, but over the last nine years working with Alliance and TA6 and people like yourselves, and I can see um, Tessa's on the call, Linda's on the call, Ian from Your Leisure. Um, you know, Tessa's a great example of going and seeing that facility at Folkestone and seeing the community connection that was created with the staff and the people that used the toning facility was incredible. Um, so I am passionate about this product. Um, I'm passionate that it will really play a key role in the future of leisure after the COVID situation because the older demographic are nervous and unsure about coming back, but they need to be fit and healthy. So um, I'm really excited about the Your Health Matters um, campaign. I hope you, you like it. Um, I'm gonna give you a lot of content to really dig into how you can help your facility bounce back. Um, and to kind of to focus initially, there is a lot of noise out there. There are a lot of consultants and there are a lot of um, webinars like this and a lot of people giving their feedback. And we tried to pull that together into a structure that will really work for you. Um, now, it is a relaunch at some stage and we're being given the green light, hopefully, that in July, leisure facilities will be able to start to open. Um, and you'll be putting plans in place on your facilities to hopefully start to open throughout July and August with restricted opening. Your toning facility, your power assisted facility, may come a little bit later down the line because of the demographic group of the people that, that you're focused on. And we'll, we'll talk about that as we go through. But there's some narrative out there at the moment that this is the biggest pre-sale in history, which I am worried about. I think your focus has to be on your customers that were there before we shut down, before lockdown. Um, and then at the right time, as you have capacity, you'll be able to focus on customer acquisition. So this narrative, it's the biggest pre-sale in history, I think is dangerous. There is gonna be a time, probably September, October, November, I think where the industry, there will be a bun fight in terms of memberships, but initially it's a focus on bringing your customers back. Um, what would the, what we've kind of focused on are these four key stages. Stage one was when you shut and you closed and you communicated to your customers about the freeze, that we're now closed, government advises that we shut, lockdown kicks in, um, and generally what we're seeing is around 15 to 20% of people's customers at stage one canceled at that stage. We're now flowing through these key stages and we're at the we are here phase where you're, you'll be staying and trying to stay connected to your customers and you'd have pivoted your focus from within the facility to an online offering um, with online workouts and there'll be loads of information probably on your Facebook channels trying to stay connected um, and I know that Shapemaster provided home workouts for people to use and, and we've got lots of free assets that you can use as well which we share at the end but it's really important you do stay connected to that group. So say you had 200 people that were members of your, of your, your, your Shape Master facility, your Tony Suite, have you stayed connected with them? Um, we've developed a model called T minus two, which is as we get a green light to the, and a date that we're gonna open, you fire off your, we're getting ready campaign, we're about to open campaign. It could be two months, two days, two weeks or, away from opening, but at the moment you'll be modeling when that is and as soon as you have that kind of feel of when you're going to open your facility you need to start to communicate to that to your customers and there is this build up of we are here we're providing support online to we're about to open and then we're open big concern and a top tip for me for you guys to consider is is the last time you sent your membership database any information when you told them you were freezing their payments Yes, you might have put online content out there, but have you actually sent your databases any information, any newsletters, any, any kind of updates on, on what you're up to? 
I think it's really, really important that you stay connected um, so that then when, that, so that the next time they hear from you isn't when you're telling them that we want your money again. So you know, I'll go into that in a bit more detail of how you can really make this we are here transition to we are open really powerful. Um, but it is a changing environment with government uh, updates. And I, I see it like Hogwarts stairs in, um, in Harry Potter that you think everything's sorted, you've got a bit of a game plan and the chair and the stairs adjust and government make changes or there's a spike in, in cases um, of the virus or there's different theory on whether we should have PPE or we should open certain facilities or certain ages should come back. So you need to have a plan that is flexible enough to adapt to the stairs changing as you go through. Um, and this phrase pivot and adapt is used by a lot of consultants, but what is your new way, the other side? And, um, and I think a lot of operators have switched to an online model. I feel your Shapemaster facility was not broken beforehand. It was, um, it works. It's a, a facility that gets results for a group of people that wouldn't normally go into the normal gym environment. They love the social connection. They love the community feel. And actually the new way will be to really get people back into that environment as quickly as possible. But the, the but is, um, Online content has definitely shown that it has some value to support people within the center and within your facilities. So developing positive online content that can people look, can look at and use when they don't have the time to come into the facility, I think is, is definitely part of the new way. And just because there's a perception that you have an older demographic does not mean to say that they're not on Facebook, they're not online, they're not on YouTube, they're not, they, and, and I think the, the fact the engagement levels of some of the content that you're putting out there have proven that that demographic, you know, are open to that as a support function for being in the club. To help how we understand how we've created the Your Health Matters campaign, we really drilled into looking at how your customers are feeling um, and your communities are feeling, how you're feeling as, as individuals. And we've kind of got two, um, two elements running side by side, which really you know, have, have different views um, and feelings involved with them. The first one is the anxiety, the fear, the, the restrictions that are put within us. We've never been through this type of situation before. Um, people are feeling isolated. There's so much uncertainty. We have this bizarre you know, daily check. We get a number publicized on the news channels of deaths as if it's just a number and we're, we're kind of relieved when it's lower. Um, we've got, you know, impacts put on our, our personal lives. All of us will be looking at our holidays potentially being canceled. Are we going away? What's happening with our jobs um, and the unknown? And the panic I think has moved from toilet rolls to people's jobs and their health. And am I safe? Um, especially as we start to bounce back and start to open, a key driver for people is, have you got it covered? Are you clean? Are you safe? Have you got everything in place to make sure that people feel comfortable to come back? So the messaging that you should be putting out there now on that we are here transition through to we're about to open is really sharing the great things you're putting in place to keep your customers safe. Um, John and I follow so many um, leisure trusts, local authorities and one man bands across the country. And we're definitely seeing a lot of standalone clubs where the owners are videoing the standards they're putting in place. They're sharing, you know, clips of them going, look at, we've now spaced the equipment out. Look at the cleanliness standards we've put in place. And they're really trying to build confidence that people will be safe when they come back. But there is fear and there is anxiety and stress and frustration. But running alongside that, paradoxically, is this massive amount of positivity um, and people being more connected probably than they've ever been. And the bottom right picture, I think, really summarises this group that there's an older demographic that your clients within your, your suites who are connecting now and using technology. They are staying um, close to their family. They are staying um, uh connected to friends through you know, digital means. Um, I think that's amazing, but they're missing your staff. They're missing being connected. Um, the top right picture is, is fascinating as well, is value for money. 
are your customers getting value for their membership the people that were using you beforehand are probably missing you but the people that weren't coming that weren't attending that what we call your sleepers that hadn't been in for a while they're sitting at home and they're thinking is my what is my membership of value to me i wasn't using it um should i stick with that payment we've certainly had that within our household of our gym membership but people are reflecting on their lives appreciating or not appreciating certain things and they're thinking about how they're going to be different the other side so your marketing plans need to give people confidence that you've got the standards right and that you've got health and safety and cleanliness and your your if you like your covid secure which is a phrase we we'll talk about a bit later um and and you've given that confidence and reassurance but then you also need to have a campaign that really focuses on the journey they've been on emotionally and how they people have reflect reflected on their life and how they want to be different the other side and this older demographic this older generation their health um, and well-being of course is important but they'll be thinking that actually this has never been more important than it is now and ultimately your health matters more than it's ever done before um, so really important whatever you choose with a campaign that you factor in the journey that people have been through um, well those fears that we've had as people as operators you'll now have in terms of what the restriction is going to mean how do i open i've really got control of this at the moment i feel uncertain when are the dates when's it going to kick in and you should be and hopefully are modeling different scenarios of how you open how do i unfreeze my memberships and when do i do that and do i discount and when they come back there's you know will we survive is a big thing you know and if if we don't get to open and come back and furlough doesn't extend you know will jobs still be there so there's all this negativity um and we want to support you by having a campaign that gives you that focus that i can bounce back um and then your communities will be thinking am i safe i want to get back but am i safe and there's a big uncertainty about jobs generally um but your demographic and a massive majority of them will be retired potentially um so it will be more about that they're safe um but their families you know uncertainty will be playing a big part but they want to feel healthy connecting groupness connections there's been you know numerous studies done over the last few months we did one in our national fitness survey and it shows that people do want to connect again um i am fascinated about revenge spending in china when people they are unluck let people free um there was a massive drive on um you know high level goods of people wanting to spend and but you've seen that in the uk over the last two weeks you know drive through takeaways mcdonald's kentucky's being open and people queuing for two hours just to get a burger not because they're that desperate for a burger but because they can they've been set free um and i think that's really important that we make sure that when people want to spend that health and fitness membership is on that list um, and that it's a priority so your marketing messages have really got to um to focus on that then but a big thing is your key messages have got to be about safety and and standards initially really really important and we've had debates internally and i've kept them on about having a stamp having this kind of kite mark that we've got things but i think there is a danger of saying you're covid secure because you know if something happens are you setting yourself up for um people to say you said you were secure but i think you developing this you know strategy to be as secure as possible to be as safe as possible and we've developed to make the comeback national campaign for if you like you know leisure as a whole which is a, a big campaign that's going out across the uk um and the big thing is that you know come back and it will be safe it will be clean and um and, and we've we're putting the standards in place um we are putting extra checks in our staff have been trained we, you, know, you reassure people through the measures that you're putting in place um i think the staff model actually is key we've developed a training module for staff to be able to deal with those situations when people um so if someone's not cleaning the equipment after use how do you deal with that rather than being rude if someone's not queuing properly so giving the staff the confidence to deal with those situations i think is crucial as well um, but getting those messages is essential so be positive but do not be ignorant to the journey people have been on i think is is key 
Um, so our T minus two plan, which will flow into, is that you get, you agree the products, which will be your facility, your shape master, your toning suite, um, decide what you're, you're looking to achieve and who you're looking to get back, what Malkin channel to you're going to use. And then you would develop a campaign, which we've developed an option for you to, to consider a free campaign from, uh, a partner shape master for you to be able to use or you can adapt um, get everything ready now your asset everything ready irrespective of whether you think the facility is going to open in august or september get your campaign ready brief the staff when you're ready get your advertising ready to go and then boom two weeks two days two months before you're ready to go you will start to fire off your campaign um, with a focus on these three areas that David mentioned earlier, which is your current customers first, then maybe previous customers, and then go for acquisition. Do not fire off trying to get new sales too early because it will disengage your current customers. Um, I think people are going to get that wrong. Um, now, we don't know that when you unfreeze memberships or start to open, how many people will actually cancel. Um, an older demographic are generally much more loyal to the brands that they're part of, more committed to their brands and, and less likely to flit. Um, but really important that you get that model right. So what we've tried to do with Your Health Matters is create a campaign so that you're ahead of the curve, that you've got something that you can start to use now. Um, then it's what's going to happen with the phasing of opening and um uh, i nick this next slide off one of john's webinars that he did last week but actually thinking about when we're going to open probably makes you feel like this fella um uh how do i deal with opening and what parts of the facility do i open first then here's a brain dump of information that we started to create a decision map of all the questions that we're having to answer at the moment in terms of um opening and unlocking memberships um so it's, it is key that you start to have a think about as guidance changes, have a look at your database. Who was a sleeper beforehand? Who was active? Should your messaging be slightly different? Stage two is what facilities are going to open? What will the capacity be? What staffing do I need? So when will, you know, is your shape master, is your toning suite going to be one of the first facilities that opens? I probably suggest not. Um, it may be in that second or third phase as you've got confidence with the, um, if you like the normal gym environment and you've got used to those standards and then as public confidence comes with an older demographic you'll probably then look at maybe phase two for your, your toning suite to open what signage do I need what standards do I need to to, to project in terms of um, that we've got things covered and you know there's loads of questions we'll share this slide with you of, of things to be contemplating and decisions you need to think about and you need to make decisions on then how do I unfreeze? Key questions. Will I allow people to freeze and extend their freeze if they don't want to come back? Will I offer a reduced rate if the facilities are discounted, uh, and, you know, not open fully? You know, if, if only a third of your membership is open, are you going to offer a, uh, a 30%, you know, only charge them 30% in terms of their rates? I think with a toning, uh, toning suite, when you open, you'll open and you will pay them um, and the expectation will that people will pay their normal rate it's just a decision of when and if some of your customers don't want to come back and extend the freeze because they don't feel comfortable i think that's the you know if you can commercially i think that would be the right thing to do but how long do you leave that for um then as government um guidance changes next round of facilities open which may be your toning facilities then you go through the same journey and then at some key stage, you'll then go through acquisition and be able to start to promote new sales as you've got your customers flowing back. So lots of questions. Um, and you guys start need to start to come up with some answers back at the ranch within your teams to decide as things change, you know, what decisions are going to are we going to make, especially on the big unfreeze, I call it. How are you going to unfreeze your memberships and the standards that you're going to put in place to help people come back? with all the different scenarios that they have within their lives at the moment. So the key phrases on your campaign, you're in the we are here phase and you're starting to build up to the we are ready. And then, then you'll flow into we are back. In essence, there's a campaign and we've actually got clients that are bought into doing that, that we're here for you, we're getting ready to reopen, boom, we're back and we want you back as well. Um, uh, and we can share there's um, a link here to loads of free assets that you can use um, 
on the We Are Here, We Are Ready and We Are Back and lots of um, panels and uh, Facebook posts and videos that you can use. So um, uh, please, we'll share that link afterwards. Um, here's an example of how Corby Leisure have taken that We Are we are Here and now that We Are Ready and how they'll start to do a countdown when they start to open with the T minus two and how that will flow through. We also have a lot of clients at the moment that are doing pay-per-click advertising to their online offering where they've got a really strong online support that we are here is really strong and actually driving people to it as a free support not for acquisition or to try and sell memberships but um you may have missed that opportunity if you don't have that hub um i think there's some some uh, guys um uh lewis and uh, andrew i think from who've got a really strong online offering at the moment which they're driving traffic through too so i think um really important that you uh you know you create that support mechanism as well at home um i kept this in the action phase these are things you should be thinking about with your phasing you know as government changes what are we going to open what capacity have we got can we open this is a simpler version of the big mind map i showed you let's communicate to the customers let's, get, let's start to offer and try and get them back you know two weeks prior to opening and what we're going to do with their memberships and how is that going to flow through but there needs to be that two-pronged attack of standards we acknowledge the journey you've been on these are the things we've put in place to keep you safe and then there's your health is really important it's really important that you bounce back so your launch campaign has to have both those messages running together um, and you know communicate to all your stakeholders milestones those dates when we're about to open looking at different channels and john mentioned this in a webinar but have a plan b if things change if those stairs change those hogwarts stairs change with pricing options you have to have a plan b in the background that does not stop you getting your campaign ready now we have a lot of clients who are in scotland who are probably in their eyes looking at august september before they open but they've got their campaigns ready now um so they can fire it off um when if those if the stairs move and those dates change um so the key phasing is get that right and then as you increase capacity then you can start your sales messages at the right time um but please don't get that wrong um focus on your current customers first and then as you've got the capacity to start to sell and open up for acquisition that's when you'll focus on on bringing new customers in yeah and with you're looking at this world um you know what will restricted opening look like what are the standards how will that work um and really communicating those standards properly um and and trying to make it feel like it's still a nice experience to come back with a you know and trying to connect as much as possible with social distancing um but giving people confidence is crucial um now, I think this really works if, you know, when you're looking to get your customers back, your, your, um, your membership, your pay as you go, your customers back, it's really important that if we had no restrictions, we'd be looking to try and book them in for a one-to-one -one with an instructor, reassess their goals, talk about the journey they've been on um, through lockdown, how they felt. If you had an app, you could introduce it, maybe a group X, but for, for the, your, your customer base within a Shake Master facility, I think this connection at the start is possible, even if it is two meters away that that conversation with people as they come back in to talk about the journey they've been on have they got out and exercised and walked or have they done nothing during this time and how do they feel um really build that community and give your staff the confidence to be able to talk understand and and then um and what will happen then is suddenly and it's much easier than your, your stereotypical normal generic gym environment where there's so many customers you can start to make people feel connected a lot quicker uh, and hopefully their attendance will match that because you've really focused on understanding the journey they've been on it's a really important part of bringing your customers back and then as you start to fire up for acquisition and getting your previous customers back there's loads of great ideas um, that you can do to try and drive those people forward using testimonials key here's an example of the make the comeback campaign that we've done that we've launched across the uk and it's really important that as you open you start to use testimonials that your customers are saying how they felt when they came back um and actually getting people to video themselves would be amazing to put on your social channels i'm back you know as they're leaving at the site 
what a great experience to be back and talk about the characters and how great the standards are and you know if, if you can encourage people a bit of a call to arms for your customers to be you know if you like you know challenging other people to come back i think that's really really powerful um yeah, and his example of how the Make the Comeback campaign, and that we started with this because this is something that we've generated for leisure as a whole, but then we really wanted to work on something that was specific for um, your demographic and the, the Shape Master toning suite and power assisted equipment facilities. And that's where we've come up with Your Health Matters. Um, so this is a, um, a campaign that you have access to if you would like to use it you'll have a there's a kickstarter pack which i'll share with you um so the assets i'm going to show you you will have access to and you will you'll be able to take that back in to your team and if you've got design element teams you can adjust and tweak and uh and make it flow through but it's a really about your health your heart your mind and and your body in terms of of getting yourself healthy because it's important generally in life to be fit and healthy but especially during this time where um making sure that you can fight this virus is crucial and having a, a really strong immune system um so it's to specifically to energize an older audience back into the facilities um to support you bounce back as quickly as possible but also in a way that you know flows of the journey and the experience that your customers have had um the flexibility to go across existing customers first and then acquisition when you're ready um, the great thing, and you'll see as we flow through with this, is that it can be used across both. Rather than just a sales campaign, it focuses on your current customers first. Um, and really has the ability for you to use as, at a local level, which is important. Um, now, you'll be aware of lots of these stats, no doubt, but you know, the coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic has really hit hard at the older community. 89% of um, the deaths have been within the over 65 age group predominantly with underlying long-term health conditions a massive percentage of the customers that come into your facilities uh, within your shape master facilities will have long-term health conditions um, and will fit into that over 65 um, category um, you know 18 percent of the population of your local population and some of your areas may be higher than that fit into that uh, demographic as well so there's a market there that you can focus on um, and that will really want to be get fit and active um, after this journey. It will be high on their list um, or they'll be thinking about it. Whether they've got that positive action to really go for it, we need to give them that nudge. Um, really important in terms of also um, spending money after, you know, after the last recession, 2008 and 2009, it was the grey pounders that, that really got us moving. Um, uh, you know, massive percentage of the revenue spent in 2009, 2010 to get us moving was spent by um, the over 60s. Um, and, you know, 76% of the national financial wealth is within the over 50s group. So these people have disposable income, but they're also want value. For what I'm going to spend my money, I want value. And the service that you'll provide within your suites and that connectivity and community feel, I think, really drives value and they achieve results. Um, it's not just that community feel, the results in terms of the improvement of their health and the impact and support for their, their, you know, their general health and to help with these long underlying long-term health conditions, you know, we know the impact of a Shape Master facility can have on those, so really positive. Um, the messaging will have two kind of key strands to it. Your health matters to you, to us, to your family, it's really important. But then we've got these power statements of it's time to be healthy, it's time to connect, you know, it's time to get active again. Challenging people now as we start to open that it's time to get back, it's time to not feel isolated, it's time to start to meet people again. Um, really positive power statements will make a big difference with the, with the driver that your health matters. Um, we're really in a TA6 into segmentation and messaging and really getting your core messages of your campaign right rather than just generic um, content or narrative and i think the focus we've done is there are three core groups that we think you should focus on the active aging group a group of people who fit into that older demographic who are looking to get active or are active um, on the other side are complete non-exercises who fit into that category 
and then there are people who are looking to exercise in a group um, they want to exercise with other people and connect all three of those are key fundamental segments that you should be going after locally and then and then how do you layer the messaging that relates to how they feel you know if the active agent will have health concerns and being directly affected if i come back they may have lost loved ones or are scared of losing loved ones um, so it's important you give them confidence and at the right time saying it is time now you can come back you can meet people again you can reconnect it's safe um, if people are looking for group exercise but they're thinking about two meters or social distancing again you've got to give them confidence and in the early stages you may every other machine you know so each booking there's a, a space between so that they're not actually in the machine next to each other but they're still able to connect the great benefit of your suites are that it's a bookable slot you know that people book their slot and you're able to control that and cleanliness and standards so really drill into and we've done some work to help with the assets to drill into these groups um, so it, it works across three groups you know your current customers make time for your health we're back we're open you know it's time to be healthy again when you focus on your ex-customers you know your health matters to us we'd love to have you back and then for new acquisition as well and there's an example of a flyer template that we've created a leaflet that you can start to get out in the community to start to promote a free taster session when you open um, i think that'll be really powerful um, call to actions we've developed key assets that you'll get within the pack that will focus on clear call to actions the bottom ones down here are really for acquisition um, and then these here now i've deliberately left in some of this messaging for our comeback campaign because well for that come comeback campaign we focused on like a six-week comeback program or a, a, a options to challenge people to come back so what we really would like you to do with your teams is what sort of offers are you going to give me in terms of support to get me back in not financial rather than just we're open again we'd love to have you back you know a consultation with other teams to talk about their journey um you know really understand their goals what they're looking to achieve and really drill that you know and then you've got the benefits of the facilities um and the support and specifically of the equipment as well and the, and the chairs we've then developed a suite of assets for you to use in terms of standards that you can start to put out and communicate but you can also put around the building um, Got John on there on an example of our video. Um, uh, yeah, that having a video that you can record before you open of your key characters within the facility saying, just to show you the suite, this is the standards that we've put in place. Really can't wait to have you back. You know, focus on cleanliness. So it really gives people the confidence that you've got things covered. Um, you know, we've been working hard behind the scenes, share it. You know, we've missed you and we've put these things in place. Um, if you want to carry working out online, we've still got those assets, you know, so really keep that focus, um, uh, especially now, over the next few weeks as you build up to open, you should be really sharing these stories, really important. And again, as I mentioned you on the comeback, um, having testimonials is really important. And as you start to open, you'll be able to really share, you know, ask, you know, your own testimonials with your own imagery um, within the campaign um, it's completely uh, flexible for you to brand it you've got the overarching your health matters with key taglines um, but you'll be able to to put your brand within that we also have an option that if you do not have the resource internally or partners available at the moment to bespoke it and brand it for yourself i'll show you that we've got an option where we can do that for you um to help you brand all your items as well so stage one is you get the kit that you can then run with yourself stage two is that we can brand it for you and, and, and update those key assets for you there's also within the pack some social media memes for you just because your older demographic fit into that category does not mean to say they're not on facebook they're not on youtube they're not on social media um, they are out there and they are more connected now than they've ever been so um definitely you know, hopefully you'll see value in the, the assets that you'll have there um, and then it's up to you to start to do and we'll give you some ideas but to develop some content key articles blogs um, you know from your team about how to to kind of get back after this journey you know how to bounce back and 
personalize that with your team sharing information on your website and on the information that you send out to your customers um, when you start to reopen. Um, okay, so that is a whistle stop uh, zoom through um, the Your Health Matters campaign um, that we've developed for Shakemaster clients. The Kickstarter pack comes with a key set of templates that you can use, all editable for you to take back to partners that you may have. Um, if you're working with design agents, to start to then put your own photos, your own imagery, uh, you know, adapt in whatever way you need to put your branding within. And there are key templates that we will produce that are yours. So that's yours. You can have it. It's there for you to be able to use. We want to help you bounce back. If you want us, um, TA6, to help you because you don't have that resource, um, for £750, we, we can bespoke all the items for you and put your branding in and you know, if you've got imagery we'll be able to help put your photos and develop um, and there's some strategic time with one of our um, account managers to be able to just talk through a lot of the content that I've put in here about what you're doing with pricing, what you're doing memberships as well and then also how we can develop the, um, the assets for you. Um, there is uh, a hub of information that you have access to now so there's a, a link there which we'll send out to you loads of free resources um, from us at TA6 for you to use on your social channels some examples of the campaign some information on your health matters are on there we've also got our national survey that we did um, so please use them I know I've seen two or three of the clients on here have used some of our uh, work at home videos and some of the assets it's there to help you bounce back um, uh, yeah, and there is also a way of you, you know, contacting us about uh, the, the make the uh, sorry the your health matters campaign. Cool. Okay. Thank you for your time. Um, um, I didn't. I think I lost one person, so uh, uh, not too bad. It's a bit gutting when you see someone leave straight away. So, uh, um, but yeah, um, and it, great to get some questions, John. If we can, if anyone's got any. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, open up for questions. We've had. Just one in came in quite early from Ian. Um, he was just asking um, about Norway because uh, Shapemaster operates um, across the world in uh, supplying the equipment. And he just said, Are the Shapemaster partners in Norway um, ahead of the UK? Are they open and did they close? And have we got any learnings from those? So I suppose, David, maybe over to yourself. Um, is there any feedback on what we've learned from Norway? Yeah, sure. Um, thanks very much for the question, Ian. Um, Norway, uh, I was just looking at this yesterday with our um, uh, distributors. So uh, they're not open yet. The prediction is that they will start to open on the 15th of June. Uh, so yeah, um, a couple of weeks away yet. But we will obviously, we will of course keep in touch with them and find out any learning from them as they, as they start to open and, and feed that back to you. David. Any further questions from anybody? I think there's a couple in the chat box, John. No, just some comments, I think. And, uh... Uh, yeah, just from a couple of people saying thanks for the session and having to leave. Um, I know Woody finished with um, the link at the end with where people can find information. And um, David, do you, I think we'll be sending out the, the links, won't we, to the resource portals that we've uh, for yes, we will. Um, uh, certain, I mean, we'll certainly, I think we'll do a follow up email today to say thank you and we'll introduce that portal. Uh, and it will certainly be available from uh, Monday um, just so that we can absorb any um, comments. And, and as Ian said, if you know, if we can start to learn from other areas that have, have reopened, we'll start to update that. But um, we will definitely we'll send the link out to our resource portal. Uh, but I hope people will also look at um, the exercise videos that are currently on our website and also um, the uh, uh, a couple of the blogs we've written about this, uh, this market. Um, as Woody alluded to earlier, um, there was um, in the last economic disruption, uh, there was a huge advantage um, for the, the grey pound uh, for businesses and the economy to take advantage of that. And when I, when I analysed um, the results of TA6's national fitness survey, uh, 
from that, from about a thousand participants uh, who were over 55 years old, I couldn't see any reluctance of that market to want to, there was, there was no evidence to say that they would be reluctant to come back. Um, uh, it, it looked like it was just in line with the rest of the population, that they had the same feelings about when they would like to come back. So it, it, that, that, that might be a good blog to read to, as, you, as you think about um, how Shapemaster, the suite, might contribute to your business recovery as well. Okay. Uh, so I think um, following this, we have recorded the session, so we'll be uploading that to our YouTube channel. So if you've got colleagues that missed the session and you'd like to share it with them, we'll, we'll share those links um, as well as the links to the, the portal. Um, if anyone else got any questions, then David is the font of all Shakemaster knowledge. So please feel free to keep in touch with David, myself or Woody. Um, thanks for joining us today. Um, if you have any further questions, we'll share our details uh, in a follow-up email. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.